Noel and Sue are going away for the night. If we haven't got it, it's not coming. There's a child here. It's third eldest Chloe's 25th birthday. Right, hot tub. Treat it with respect. Noel and Sue are allowing Chloe and some of the other teenagers to have a party tonight. New garden furniture. The new table in the garden, I've looked at it and it's perfect for beer pong. So... As long as the police aren't involved and the neighbours aren't upset. I'm not having complaints, it's you're having the complaints. And listen, don't get in the hot tub. Letting Chloe and the teens have a party... Nice. ..when you've just spent thousands on doing up your house is certainly brave. They need their own space and they need to, you know, grow and learn. Right, go. See you later. But sometimes that can be quite hard when it's your house. So, you know, the things that we have in the house and, like, the garden and everything, don't want things getting trashed, especially when you've worked so hard to get those oh. things. <laughs> we very, very rarely get the house where it's just us older ones at home. So when we do, we like to take advantage of it, yeah. That's only if Noel can get the bags packed and everyone into the cars. Yeah. Is that it? Surely there's more than that. Oh, Mrs Bonnet. With six of the older children staying behind... <laughs> ..a mere 13 kids are going away. So today we've got me, Sue, Ellie, Amy, Josh, Max, Tilly, Oscar, Casper, Hallie, Phoebe, Bonnie, Archie and Heidi. How do you get 13 kids, two adults, a pram, and all the luggage into two cars? I think there. Oh, not easily. Tell Mum to pack more stuff. There's room. Packing the cars mm. is a nightmare, isn't it? Yeah, because your car, really there's no in space it. in it whatsoever. When all the seats are taken, there's just nowhere that you can put anything. Nothing. Are you ready to go? Yeah. Are you all packed? To help get everything in, Noel's come up with a simple solution. We're not doing suitcases this time, we're doing bin bags. It's just the big and bulky when you're chucking them in a car. I'm not feeling confident that we're going to get all this stuff in. One more bag. That can go there. That can go like that. Another bag. There's always a late comer to the party, isn't there, with a bag? Come on, chop, chop. Free up. No, hang on, Bags yeah. finally loaded, just the small matter of getting all the kids in. We're having the arguments of, oh, I don't want to sit there, I want to sit here. Get in the car. Oscar, just get in, stop being a pest. Stress levels are just slightly rising. Yeah. As long as the door's shut, we're happy. Belts on, please. Finally, they're packed and ready. Have fun. Yeah, right, Violet, be good. Bye, Where's my keys? Are my keys in here, anyone? Well, nearly. Has anyone seen my car keys for that car? Oh, they're here, they're in my pocket. See ya. Let's go. Uh, I might do in a minute. Bye! Bye, Archie. Bye! 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 Bye. Bye. Love you! <laughs> Parents gone. Let the fun begin. Never. That's good going. Luke is quite a sensible one that doesn't really drink very much, does yeah, he? Cheers. Daniel's a really lovely lad, actually. Yeah. He's very sensible. I'm getting hammered tonight. Absolutely hammered. That's why I like to wear. He's very sensible. But he doesn't get out of control or go no. stupid. I at least they get Chloe spot on. Chloe is... Can, she could drink she very can, dry. She, she, can, really can. she can be a bit of the wild one, <laughs> can't she? <laughs> Things kick off tamely enough with a team party classic, beer pong. Yes! <laughs> After dark, the partying really begins. Right. Oh. At midnight, birthday girl Chloe's big moment. Happy birthday! Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Woo! 25! Happy 25th, Chloe! But sensible Luke is missing in action. It's the morning after Chloe's 25th birthday party. 
think out of everyone, I feel the worst. I don't think I can move. Noel and Sue and 13 of the younger kids have been away for the night. But now they're on their way home. It's always a bit nerve-wracking, isn't it, when you're coming back to the house when you know that there's been, like, a party the day before? Right, come oh, on, let's clean up. There's so much glass. How did this happen? Frightened of upset the neighbours if there's any noise and things like yeah. that for a start. <laughs> and it was outside. We've only just finished doing the garden, which well, cost us a fortune, and yeah, it's taken us a long time and a lot of effort to do mm. it. So I'm a bit worried if there's any damage out there, because it's all brand new. Oh, crap. Yeah. Who has smashed yeah. a bottle of vodka? That's burned. They've actually coat. put a fag on that. If it is, we're screwed. I'm trying to think, if we got a spare one, we could maybe bin this one. But the burn marks on the new garden furniture are nothing to what they find next. <sighs> The one thing I was worried about. <laughs> I thought it's been a really successful night, you know. The house is in one piece. So you go outside and you see the hot tub lids came through. The four hundred pound lid to the centerpiece of their new garden is broken. The one thing my mum said to me to not do was let anyone go near the hot tub on that night. And the one thing that gets broken on the night is the hot tub. I just thought, oh, you're joking. Not good. It was, they're going to kill us. I do feel bad, obviously, because it is their property, you know, they pay a lot of money for it. So, yeah, I was absolutely crapping myself. I can hear a car. Oh, God, Daniel, are you ready? We've had a good night. Clean up effort. It looks like they started, and then just done as much as they can, mm. and the hangover sort of Keep come in a little bit more, and they've given up. Any hope that Noel and Sue might not spot the damage to the jacuzzi lid? Oh, there's a big hole. That's got to have taken some proper bouncing. Is short lived. No, that's really bad. There's nothing there. It's gone. It's all collapsed in it. Do you know what? I was expecting a worse reaction. No, she is fuming now. She's gone up close. I find that really disrespectful to go around to somebody's house and treat it like that. Do you not think that's bad? Yeah. I'm, I am really annoyed. You see, the hot tub, we haven't had very much use out of it. Nope. They broke me. They so snapped. really, really the hot tub not lid. impressed at all. I've said to them that we're not paying for that. That will be coming out of your pockets and not ours. Me and Daniel have said we're not having a party again because, you know, it, it turned a little bit expensive. We've got a little surprise when we get home. Mum of 22 kids, Sue Radford, is driving back from a very important appointment. Don't think they'll be expecting this. At the house, Noel has gathered the children together. Me. Right, kids, who's ready for Mummy's surprise? Me! I love seeing the, the faces when, you know, they get a surprise like this. These big family gatherings in the living room normally mean one thing. Oh, are we excited? Oh, yes! Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah! The announcement that there's going to be another addition to the Radford family. Let's go and surprise them. I've been on a secret-ish mission. And where's she at? Chloe. She, Chloe. Hurry up, Mum. Noel and some of the kids know about it, but, yeah, it's a bit of a surprise. Here we go. Oh, there she is. Bye -bye. Oh. 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 Who's this? Is this the new member of the family? Who wants first cuddle? What do you think Ooh. of that, then, Archie? Oh, does she love you? Oh, <laughs> she's going to lick your face. Mabel is just ten weeks old. One nil to Mum, none to Dad. Mum got her own way again. 